And uh, you may have some other tissues. You can look about, look, look like uh, nervous systems, these are neurons. You can look at the function, uh, how the electrical signal propagates in neurons. But again, again, the most fantastic things is science and hearts are really together. You can see this. These are modern art pictures. And uh, you can try to figure out which is the artist behind this. This is nature. This is mother nature. Because uh, on the top sides are neurons. In the lower side, in the lower, in the, in the lower sides, in the lower part, it's skin. But that looks like modern art pictures. So, shape, the beauty, is everywhere. Uh, the meaning of the beauty is also everywhere. So, uh, Donny, if you come, I would like to 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 talk about about this with with Donny. And uh, the way we will go on is just uh, a talk between us and then I also would appreciate if uh, you can uh, uh, you can insert in, the, in this talk with the, your your questions so can you hear me can you hear me okay so maybe okay so this is the maximum volume so I think we have to approach the microphone. So, Johnny, as I was saying before, uh, I mean, how and why will be the main uh, the main topic of uh, of uh, of, uh, of this meeting? And uh, I mean, uh, I would like to start with uh, uh, with something that always uh, I mean, that was the first concept I, I had in mind when uh, they 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 asked me to talk about art and science is that to uh, uncover the shape. I was uh, pretty much always impressed when Michelangelo was saying that uh, when he, in sculpture, he was working on, on, a, on a piece of, uh, of stone, uh, if his uh, mission was to uncover an existing shape. Well, this is like this in science. I mean, uh, uh, in science, uh, what we do, I mean, uh, we are just kids, just kids playing with nature. And uh, we are just, our mission is just to find the proper language, uh, which can be, I don't know, um, some formalism, scientific formalism, which can be a scientific instrument. But what's for this? It's to discover what already exists. We are not inventing anything at all in science. Um, so I'm, I'm, I was thinking how this kind of a principle to uncover what already exists uh, can we have in, uh, in, in, in art? Tony, what do you think about this? Well, it's very similar in art. I mean, uh, the, the word creating in art, I think, is a bit, uh, it's a bit of a, I don't think it's really a, a true representation of what an artist does. I mean, we use what's already created. Uh, so it's, it's not, uh, we don't make things out of nothing. That's the definition of creation. What we do is we use what's already there and we, we try and penetrate the meaning of what's already there. Or we try and penetrate the meaning of who we are through material that already exists. So uh, it's, it's very similar uh, when I talk to my nephews and nieces about what I do and uh, they just come back and say, oh, you just play with them all the time. <laughs> you, you, you just play with clay, you, you're, you're not, you don't work at all. And in a way, he's right. <laughs> I mean, to me, it is, it, my work is play, so it's, it's like I haven't worked a day in my life, but it's just a different type of work. And I'm sure it's the same with you guys, other artists here, I mean, uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's play, and play is very important, because it's only through play, it's only through that freedom that we really have the uh, opportunity to penetrate deeper aspects of, our, our, of who we are. Um, and I think that that's what makes a, a great culture is, is that opportunity and we see throughout the history the great manifestations of culture come in periods where there is opportunity to play, there is opportunity to penetrate deeper. Uh, it's only when there's war and uh, difficulty that we don't have time or the uh, liberty to, to penetrate the meaning of who we are. But it's when there's stability, when there's peace, then there's uh, the periods to, to do that. So. Uh, whenever we have that opportunity in our lives, we should, you, we should use, I think we should use that opportunity to play. I and mean, even if you're not an artist, to experiment with uh, and try and discover 
you use that opportunity to penetrate deeper into who you are. Yeah, that reminds me uh, the, um, the the concept or of what we discover in science. It's objective. I mean, it's there. Uh, there is no, there is not. They say there are not. There are not options. Let's say a physical law expresses what a star does, for example. And there are no options. It's there. I'm just observing whether it exists. So uh, science expresses uh, some very objective points. Uh, what is relative in, in science can be the language we are using. Uh, now, I'm, uh, I'm wondering uh, what, what kind of uh, real objective reality can we have uh, in, uh, in, uh, in art? And what is relative and what is objective in your case in art? Well, we, we saw there's just a slideshow there of something that's very objective to us all is our bodies. I mean, our bodies are very objective realities. And we can use our body to penetrate the meaning of who we are. I mean, I don't think there's a, there's a greater vehicle to penetrate the meaning of the human condition than the human body. Uh, it's also the most perfect form to express the human condition. Uh, and that, that's logical because we've all been given a body to express who we are. So this is, these, are, these are very interesting aspects. So I, the, the reason I approach the body in such a scientific way and uh, such an artistic way is so as to penetrate that vocabulary so as to really understand. First of all, it's to understand and then to communicate. Uh, you can't really communicate something you don't understand. Or you, should, you shouldn't communicate things you don't understand, uh, even though sometimes we all slip into that. But uh, the important thing is to, is to really use it to penetrate the meaning of who we are and then uh, and then delve further. So, for instance, the human body is obviously, even I use my hands, for instance, I use my body uh, to, to speak. We all use our body in phenomenally powerful ways to communicate. Uh, and that c can come from, uh, from buying a cup of coffee to, to, to uh, your, the, the intimacy of uh, married, married life. I mean, there's a whole series of, of uh, aspects that we communicate on different at different levels so the, it is i see it as, as a language and a, and, uh, and you penetrate a, a definite truth so i use the tangible reality of the human body to penetrate things that are uh, deeper and more interesting yeah i mean this is very very important to 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 try to understand the the, the main maybe the main difference between the art and science because uh, Art uh, is trying to express, uh, to describe the human being. Uh, the science uh, is devoted to understand the human being. So one is understanding and the other one is uh, describing. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, uh, in this case uh, um, there, are, there are a few things uh, which uh, which are important, which are objective. So I don't. I think. I think we don't have to make confusion between uh, uh, what is uh, uh, our own beliefs and uh, what is the what is the real science. Uh, let me let me say something. For example, suppose that tomorrow we discover that the conscience, the feelings, are related to uh, to chemical reactions. Suppose we discover tomorrow, tomorrow that the, the, the feeling of God, it depends from an architecture of the brain. I mean, um, I, I, I'm a believer, I'm a Catholic, okay? For me it's not a problem, for example. Because, uh, I mean, uh, 